hey everyone so today we'll be looking at a couple of different free softwares that i've been using for a while and i feel like every artist doesn't matter what what field you're in these softwares will help you a lot so let's just jump into it so previously i was uh, dragging and dropping the files in 3 studio max and then opening them but the issue with that was that um while the file is loading my explorer gets stuck and then if the file is big that will be stuck for a while so now if i have to open a file because i have two monitors side by side so i will always have my windows explorer with the project folder open on my one screen and on my other screen i've got my 3 studio max open so i will just go file open once i've got this window open i don't need to do anything what i just need to do is i'll just single click here and i'll single click back there and it will open that location automatically it's just two simple clicks it works really fast so i can switch between different folders uh, but i love this software because it's just helped me a lot um just not copying and pasting file paths links even when i have to save a file i'll just click in the location where i need to save and i'll just click back and i can just save my file really quickly so the next software that we'll be looking at is connector which is a software which will help you organize your 3d model library so once you open the software you will be presented with uh, these two main tabs one being the folder and second being the tags you might have some other extra options enabled in your viewport as well like some products pbr material library like these are some different options that i don't use so i've turned them off so the only three things that i use is folders tags and details so the way that you use this software is basically once you open the software what you need to do is wherever you're saving your models library or material library you need to add that folder into the software so you can hit plus once the folder is selected it will come up there you can add multiple folders so the first thing that i did was is i created tags for each and everything that i use on a regular basis so i had a main tag called furniture and then i had subcategories in that furniture um, tag so i've got bathroom bed cabinetry decorations all these different tags that i know that i need to be searching in when i'm working on a project like if i go in seating so if i click on seating it will show me all the um, models that i have with that tag but i've got further subcategorize this category into chairs dinings stuff for the exterior lounge office so far so you can create as many tags and as many sub tags as you want you can color code them as well if you like if you feel um, you can make them easily searchable by color whatever you want whatever makes your life easy so once you've got all your folders in what you can do is click the down arrow it will show you all the subfolders in that folder and if you click on any folder you'll see that it's not showing you any files so what you need to do is basically right click and you have to check show files in subfolders because at this point it's only showing you the files that's inside this folder and not inside these two subfolders so once i click show files in subfolders it will show me all the files within each and every folder in that main folder so now you can see it's also showing me all the 3d studio max files as well as all the image files so what you can do is basically either if you prefer to see only the images you can turn that filter off so if i click that it won't show me any 3d files anymore but if i click that it will show me all the 3d files so you can also change the size of the thumbnails by dragging this small bar 
at the bottom whatever you're comfortable with so what i can do is basically i can assign previews to 3 studio max files so i can just click and drop it there and you can see that got updated with the reference image if i double click it it will show me the preview so once you've added the preview onto the file what you can do is basically whenever you need to bring a model from connector into 3 studio max you can just click drag and drop it into 3 studio max and it will give you this uh, dialog box either you can open the file or even merge and place file as proxies it gives you a couple of really good options and you can just drag and drop there and then you can keep clicking and it will start creating copies of those models so the next thing that i do once i've added all my folders in is basically start creating the tags so even for plants i've got a separate tag called plants and inside plants i've got more further subcategories so like this one so all these are pot plants so i will go i've got a pot plant tag there so what i need to do is basically just select all of them and then click pot plants and that's it all those images will get added to that tag so next time when i'm looking for a pot plant i can just go in pot plants and i will find all the pot plants just in here so the next software we'll be looking at will actually help you clear some space from your hard drives because we know working as a 3d artist our project files tend to become really big it can take a good chunk of space on your hard drives when you're exporting multiple images in chrono cxr is saving photoshop files and by the end of the project the project file size has gone up to like 50 gigs to like 100 gigs and it gets really hard to go through those files and folders after you're done with the project to actually clear out some space so this software is perfect for it so once you've downloaded the file what you need to do is just run the exe file that you get from the software one of my hard drives and i will click start once i hit start um it might give you an error you can close that and now you'll see it's basically giving you a full layout of your hard drive it's showing you the main drive letter all the folders within each folder and it's also showing you size of each and every folder it will take a couple of minutes to analyze the whole hard drive depending on how big the hard drive is but what this will do is basically it will start moving all the files which are bigger in size onto the left side of the window and will show the smallest files on the right side of the window so i can easily see that well that job is taking up 28.9 gigs what i can do is basically if i click on this one just a single click it will show you me all the folders inside that folder and then i can see oh renders are taking 18.2 gb click further it's now giving me all the folders in there with each and every individual folder size so i can keep going there i can see all around three is taking like four gigs and i don't need that uh, folder anymore so i will just navigate to that folder in my hard drive and i will just delete it so it just really quickly and fast i can just skim through my whole hard drive really quickly eliminate any files which are really big in size and just get rid of them so the next software we'll be looking at is a very simple software which will just help you copy files from one folder to another so to use the software to copy files across i'll just have to use the keyboard short key which is Control c and whenever i do and whenever i do Control v it will use the other software to copy files across so let me just copy some bigger files so if i copy that and paste it here and if i double click that you can see it's showing me what the transfer speed is how long it's gonna take to transfer those files where it's being copied from 
and now I can continue working in the background and if I copy something else control C control V you will see that it got added as a waiting in the list at any point I can pause this and I can resume the second one I can add as many items as I want and even if I copy files over the network same as normal files all of those will be added to this section and I can pause and resume all of them at any point if at any point you need to use the default windows copy option you can still use that as well but you'll have to use right click and do the simple copy and then do the normal paste don't use the copy handler paste just use the normal paste option and it will choose the windows default copy software so the next software that i use a lot is actually in built into windows already and a lot of people don't know it or don't use it a lot but i find it really helpful when i'm working on projects and i need to take screenshots and do markups and stuff so if you go into windows and if you search snipping tool you will get this small window what you need to do is just hit new and then draw a box so now basically that image is opened up and you don't actually need to save it to use it that's the main beauty of this software is that you never have to save any image what you can do is basically if you need to bring this image into photoshop it's already copied you don't even have to copy it so if i go in photoshop and if i do Control v it will paste that image for me same thing if i have to do any markup so i'll just take a screenshot i've got the pen tool selected here i can do the markups again i don't need to copy i'll go into photoshop or even in my email and i'll just do Control v and it will paste the image so i use this software a lot on a daily routine you can also add delays uh, when you're taking a screenshot so like if i now press new it will take a couple of seconds to actually enable that so very small software but it just helps a lot um, in the daily workflow i tried to go through each and every software really quickly and fast but all these softwares are capable of doing a lot more than what I've showed you guys today. So if you have any specific questions or any specific need that you think you need a software for, just hit me up down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one.